so low. Warning, the following video is sarcastic, over-exaggerated, and may be considered to be extremely offensive to a certain type of person. If you find that you yourself are easily offended, have no sense of humor, and or consider to be completely PC, you definitely don't want to watch this video, and if you're about to go away right now, don't worry about it. I'm going to say, you're not even saying that. I'm going to say, you're not even saying that. Hi, I'm Ryan Higa, and I'm currently attending the University of College State, where I'm majoring what? in political correctness. So you know, and I know, what I'm talking about. I can tell you exactly like what is considered college offensive state. and what is it. I mean, I've taken all the classes on political correctness, such as yes. Facebook Comments 101, Twitter Trends 102, to Wikipedia. I've even taken an advanced class on the subject called Reading News Articles That Other People Write to Tell Me How I Should Feel About Controversial Topics to Apply. With my vast knowledge on this subject, I'm going to be teaching you how to be the most politically correct you've ever been. It was offending me. <laughs> how to be politically correct. For those of you who don't know what that means, being politically correct or PC basically means to avoid offending people. Because we all know that offending someone's feelings is the worst thing a human being can do. So let's get started. The first lesson in being PC is to avoid the trendy topics. If an issue is trending on social media or don't you on the news, <laughs> so are, you should probably avoid that topic because all of a sudden everybody really cares about it now. And no matter which side you pick, you're probably going to offend someone. Here's an example of a trendy controversial topic that you guys might remember. Can you believe this? What? This is Starbucks Christmas cup. So? So? There's no Christmas on the cup. This is a blatant attack on my religion. A blatant attack on Christianity. Plus, Blaine. the cup is red. That's the same color as Bruh, that. the Christians Pimples really complain about that? And pimples that are not ready to be popped yet? Well, I think they're right for not putting Christmas on the cups. What did you just say? Well, I'm not a Christian, and if they did have Christmas designs on the cup, then that's infringing on my First Amendment right of freedom of religion. How dare Ooh. you see something so un-American? Un-American? <laughs> what? Where's that going? How dare you just like that? Yeah, it, it, it might seem like a silly over a argument, a, a but since Christian it was trending in the news, it's really important now. If you really want to be PC, avoid the trendy topics. This is what he should have said. Guys, guys, it's just a... Nope, it's not just a, yep, yep, it's a Christian cup. <laughs> it's the Christmas cup. The Christian Christmas cup. The next lesson in being PC is no more jokes. Jokes are a thing of the past. I mean, you might think that some jokes are not that bad, but in 2017, all jokes are offensive. It's 2017. Okay. All right, so three guys walk into the bar, right? Oh, three guys, huh? Didn't know you guys were against women's rights? Why does it like pop up for you like that? Why you telling a joke? Yeah, I know. Dude. It's just a joke. Oh, it's just a joke? What, well, women aren't funny enough to be a part of your little oh joke? Oh my god. Fine, it doesn't really matter, okay? Three women... Good. Walk into the bar in the middle of the day, right? <laughs> the bar? In the middle of the day, wow. What is it now? Oh, wow. You're saying all women are alcoholics, you bunch of misogynists. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? To prove you You know those people out there like that, dude? Are you implying that all chickens are cowards? Or that somehow ducks are above chickens in some way? What? what? Because ducks and chickens are equal, okay? And people like you who support duck supremacy are part of the problem. Duck what? supremacy. I don't see how this is offensive. Bruh. Yeah. Of course you don't. You don't see it because you're a little privileged duck boy that grew up in the safety of your little ranch. So of course you're not afraid. Chickens? What? Chickens, we grow up in fear. We get he's not a chicken! We're forced to do he's not a chicken! We're forced to watch each other get slaughtered just for food. Hey, ducks get eaten too. He's yeah, speaking about chickens like he's a chicken though. Like... You come across duck eggs at the supermarket, huh? How often do you pass by a fast food chain called KFD? You see all the <laughs> right now. <laughs> Those are lives that are in danger. KFD. That's what's true. What do you call someone with That's no cell phone? That's a good one. I don't know what. A house phone. Because with no cell phone, you gotta call them with a house phone. <laughs> <laughs> As somebody really? who finds Jonah Hill and Michael Sarah's comedy inappropriate, I take offense to that joke. What? They never even said this joke. How is this even related to either of them? Because it was super bad. And then finally, the last lesson in being PC is oh my gosh. to know that everything is offensive. If you don't think that something is offensive, chances are you're a bad person and you're not looking hard enough. Here, let me make it easier. <laughs> Give me some examples. Now take a look at this X-Men poster. Does right. it offend you at all? Because if it doesn't, you hate women. It's clearly wow. a man choking a woman. So that means you think that it's okay for men to choke women. Not to mention at the top of the billboard, it says only the strong will survive. Damn, am I a bad men person? Men are stronger than men. But that's not it. This poster isn't just sexist, it's racist. I mean, why is the light-skinned blue person choking the dark-skinned blue Person. Oh my I'm gosh. Look at the date on the bottom. Don't tell me it's just a coincidence that they conspired the release date to be on May 27th, the exact same day the race riots in East St. Louis took place in 1917. And as if that weren't enough, the title itself is not just sexist. Bro, it's he? Ryan is gonna get somebody in trouble one day, bro. Right? Women? I'll tell you why. Because X Men Apocalypse is an attack on the LGBT community. That's right. X -Men attack on LGBT. LGBT. They're X Men. They're <laughs> not the women. Yeah. So, so when they say X Men Apocalypse, what they're really trying to say. <laughs> 
this is the end of the world for the transgender community. I Damn, I did not know, know the sign thing was like, oh, shit. Wait a second, May 27th. This is old news. It's not trending anymore. Yeah, it's no big deal. Then next. So in closing, Bro. I know there's a lot of things to he, remember. He so probably started fights when he was younger. In order to be <laughs> a really politically correct person, avoid all the trendy, controversial topics. Which basically means that if something is being talked about by somebody somewhere about something, you may not have an opinion about it because you're wrong and it's going to offend someone. You must also remember, no more jokes. Jokes are a thing of the past. So remember to never laugh or make anyone else laugh because if you do, that means you're laughing at the issue. Issues like war and rape and racism. So if you laugh, you're a racist war rapist. And laugh <laughs> a racist war rapist. 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 It's offensive. It's not you a a racist war rapist. Don't have opinions. Don't take any action. Don't walk, talk, move, wear, or share Don't do shit. Talk, especially <laughs> if it's about an issue. And everything is an issue. And at the same time, keep in mind that with all these issues, if you don't speak up and take action, you guys are part of the problem. So stop having opinions, stop taking action, and Wait. step up and do something and take action. He just said don't do anything, and they said if you uh, speak uh, up. Well, no, no, it's not you. The video is great. Message is clear. It's just we're missing something. I don't think we're going to get the views this way. Unless. <laughs> White stupid. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> You know, I agree with Sean that he probably did start a lot of fights from you. Yeah, later. bro, like, I can see Ryan, like, in the cafeteria, and he's, like, in the line, the lunch line, and some dude in front of him is like, yo, pass me an apple juice. And he's like, are you going to pass me that apple juice? I don't think he said please. Did he even acknowledge your name? Or did he just look at you? Is that disrespect? I think it's disrespectful. <laughs> You're always supposed to look at somebody in your eyes before you ask them a question. <laughs> and then the fight started. Yo, he's right, bro. You ain't looking me in my eyes when you ask me about apple juice. Yeah, man. Just do, do, do. <laughs> and then Ryan just walks away quietly. Like nothing changed. Right. Just nothing happened. Uh, but, um, I just, the, the college thing is like, oh, like it started off with college and then it, it, it started off, I mean, it's politically correct, like trying to be politically correct. Yeah. And it's kind of funny because like, I don't know. I think I'm pretty sure it's in the business, in the like entertainment business, entertainment world. It's like, um, like they they tell entertainers to stay out of certain conversations mm -hmm. when it comes to the media, like politics, war, and shit like that. They say as an entertainer, you shouldn't speak on shit. You know what I mean? Because you got thousands of people watching you. So you had thousands of opinion, thousands yeah. of opinions on your one opinion. You know what I mean? But uh, the um, his his Starbucks his Starbucks uh, uh skit got me though because he, like you said, there are people out there that that are just like really, really blunt and really straightforward about about all that, and then like with the jokes, like. I don't I, I don't like buzz kills at all. Buzz kills. Yeah. Yeah. I there's this one <laughs> there's this one coworker that every time I'm talking to somebody mm -hmm. and we're laughing, it's always that one person that you're see you don't have to talk you don't have to talk to them. They just come up and they just kill the whole vibe. Like so y'all can be like ha 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 And then it just stops. Yeah. Damn, that's <laughs> fucked up. Oh. Hey, I'm, just saying. I'm not gonna lie to you. If I was that dude that just messed up the like the whole vibe, <laughs> and like I saw y'all walk like laughing in the back, and I just walked up, and then y'all stopped laughing, I'd be like, all right, square that shit up. <laughs> <laughs> square that shit up, cause we obviously we obviously got a problem right now, cause I don't hear laughing no more. <clears throat> nah, but the one part. Of this video that was like, like what the fuck? What? Uh, it was the the end. It was the the what did he say? The war rapist. There he said he, he <laughs> said he he said rape war, rape rape rapist. racist racist war rapist <laughs> racist war rapist man. That sounds like <laughs> an ultimate fighter or some shit right there. Oh well, nah. <laughs> That'd be kind of bad. 
Ultimate Fighter coming to the stage. Racist, war, rapist. That's not like you go straight to jail if that's your name. <laughs> like, uh, sir, what's your name? Uh, rapist, war, rapist. Lock oh my him up. God, like. Lock him up. That's for a name. That's your name? Oh, oh. <laughs> 15 to life. <laughs> put, put him in cuffs right now. Get him out of here. Oh, man, that's fucked up. Nah, but uh, how do y'all feel about, you know, uh, being politically correct and all of that. Um, real quick, it was a, it's a it's a channel. I don't know his name, but it's a kid. Uh, he does like impersonations of some reactors, and he did an impersonation. Um, and I saw the video already, so I don't know if that kid watches us. Well, clearly he does, but I, I don't know how frequently you watch us. But if you're watching this video, I saw their vid. I would have did a reaction to it, but. I got so many links sent to me that when you get when you get like spammed with links, eventually you like fuck it. What is this video? You know what I mean? So I clicked the video and I watched it, and uh, it was pretty funny, man. It was, your impersonation of us was pretty funny, and you had pretty good points too. So kudos to you, and you know we still cool. No hard feelings. I don't know if I can be friends with somebody that's like politically correct all the time. It's okay to be sometimes, but what like, is the thing is? It's like what is politically correct? Cause if I'm talking to Joe, like don't go, don't, 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 don't break down the joke. Don't, don't analyze it. Just let me tell the joke. Let me be as it is. You know, I. Just, I that's all I'm saying. I don't want a buzz kill. Yeah, no, nah, buzz kills suck. But hey, we gotta live with them. We gotta live with everybody. You know what I mean? So shit happens. No, not everybody. You can kill the motherfuckers. Keep it cool. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> you, you a murderer? <laughs> you a murderer in the streets? <laughs> nah, but um, <laughs> we appreciate everybody letting us know or giving us hella reaction requests because that's another thing the kid made me realize. Like, we have flat out, like, in our comment section, it's reaction requests all yeah. the time. It's either a reaction request or, uh, like, hey, can I get a, a, a shout out? You know what I mean? Yeah. And we appreciate those guys that, like, I know y'all have been asking, like, where's the videos and stuff. And I read some of the comments of people that pretty much know what we're doing right now while videos aren't posted. So we appreciate y'all. And uh, we're going to try to get videos up as fast as we can. All right. Keep it cool. Keep it classy. And we love you. Stay awesome. Always. And forever.